We've talked about 3D printing on its own, but what about 3D printing using concrete and other earthly materials? Well, that's why you're here, so let's dive in. With the introduction of 3D printing into the construction industry, we have definitely incorporated a completely new alternative technology in this sector. As the construction sites adapt to new forms of building methods, 3D printed structures are getting increasingly popular, with the benefits of assembly on site, save time and cost for better quality. 3D concrete printing technology is used today for homes and construction projects. It basically has the potential to disrupt the entire construction industry. This printing method uses extremely large machines, measuring several meters in height, to extrude cement-based materials from a very big nozzle. These 3D printers generally come as structures called gantries, or robotic arms, and continuously extrude a dough-like concrete material, layer by layer, to create a desired building element. So we're basically baking cakes, but they're buildings. Additionally, the material that's used is not actually concrete in this 3D printing method. Traditional concrete is not suitable for 3D printing because it clogs the printer nozzle and does not stick to the layers properly. The ingredients of this special concrete mix are similar to typical concrete mixtures, which include water, cement, and aggregates like sand or stone. Yet the difference is the texture, and the consistency is kept similar to an aerated dough. Other materials like raw earth, sand, agricultural waste and plastics are also potential components. The many benefits of this printing method include less waste, no need for large-scale concrete molds, faster building times, greater scale of design freedom, 24-7 printing and lower material consumption, such as walls being partially hollow. I guess that's it. We have to accept that the machine has now taken control. A huge variety of structures are made possible with 3D concrete printing. One example would be Icon and Lake Flato's recently 3D printed house in Austin, which uses Icon's Walcan construction system. The walls of the house took around only 10 days to be printed, which were reinforced by steel and used a special material called lavacret, a cement-like substance that is airtight and insulated. In 2021, Germany's first 3D printed house was officially opened. The two-story house was built by Perry and designed by Mens Court. Perry printed the triple skin cavity walls, which are filled with insulation and leave space for water and electricity-related elements. The attic components also came as prefabricated parts, which were combined on site during the printing process. That's impressive, whether you like it or not. Today, some of the companies that utilize cement-based printing include Apis Core, Cobot, Icon, Wasp, Winson, Emerging Objects, and many more. One other aspect of large-scale 3D printing is that the workers require a higher degree of training and education, as the skills needed for the tasks are relevantly still novel. In fact, even though the market is still in the developmental phase, 3D concrete printing is expected to enter the mainstream in the next 10 years. But one thing is for certain, the building and planning as we know it will fundamentally change, with 3D construction printing promising as an alternative. For instance, Dubai is aiming to have 25% of its building constructed using 3D printing by 2030, as its increased sustainability, optimization and productivity not only offer affordable housing solutions, but also provide prefabricated shelters for on-demand services, it is clear that 3D construction printing is here to stay. Make sure to check out Pacademy's workshops in the links below. Pacademy is an educational platform powered by Parametric Architecture to spread the idea of using parametric design and computational tools in architecture. Pacademy has broadened its collaboration with pioneering architects and designers, dealing with diverse and numerous topics such as computational design, 3D printing, robotic fabrication, procedural methods, space architecture, metaverse design, design in VR, AR, and many more topics. You can register and join the live workshops or watch the previous studio's workshop recordings. To learn more, you can visit parametricarchitecture.com slash pacademy. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell notification to not miss any new uploads. See you at the next episode.